What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Tiffany and today I'm coming to show you how I do my flat twist out using my shea butter mixture. Um, I'm starting off with freshly co-washed hair. I, um, I've i already put in a mixture of oils which this is um, castor oil and jojoba oil and peppermint oil that I um, rub on my scalp. So I've already done that and I also use my Talia Wahid, uh, the Great Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. So, um, I should, uh, before this video, show you how I make my shea butter mixture. And, um, this will be my first time doing, with this mixture, doing my flat twist out. Um, my flat twist out was my style, basically, for the month of March. I like it. It's easy to do. It's fast. It's easier for me to do than a twist out, um, two-strand twist, individual twist. So I'm just going to show you guys how I achieve that and um, just stay tuned. First I'm going to start off with just um, parting my hair while I want my twist to start in the front basically. I'm going to part my hair at the crown and I'm just using these little metal clips to um, hold down my hair basically. So um, I usually just start, um, I try to do them a good little size. And y'all, my hair shrinks a lot, so it may not look like my hair hasn't grown that much, but it has. It's been doing really, really good. If you can see my roots, from here to here, it's black. And of course, y'all know I um, colored my hair, I believe that was in, yeah, it was in January. Um, from here to here, my, hair, my um, roots are black. So it's growing. It's, it's doing good. Now, I've done my flat twist out with using, doing a part down the side, but um, I like it better. Um, that's cute, but I like it better um, just like a fro, basically. And, um, and it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's more stylish to me. So anyway, I take this little section of my hair, as you can see. It's already damp, so I'm not going to wet it. And what I'm going to do, here's my shea butter mixture. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put a good amount from root to end. Make sure I really get my, um, my roots and my ends. I'm going to take this little detangler comb and detangle before I start to twist so it's easier to twist. So, so basically just make sure your hair is coated really good with the uh, your mixture or whatever you're going to use to flat twist your hair. I'm not great at flat twisting but I get it done. So I basically just start with two little parts, two little sections and then I take my hair. I cannot look in the mirror because it will mess me up and I just start to flat twist and I can't go fast. <laughs> I'm not that good at it y'all. And of course, the shea butter will dry. Your hair will not be coated. It always dries clear. I never have like a buildup of product. So there's a flat twist. And I just leave it hanging basically like that. There you go. And basically all I do is just flat twist the front. Probably to here on each side. Then I want to do the sides, which I'll show you in the back going down. So just stay tuned for that. I'm kind of going to, you know, not film at all so you won't be bored. And my hair is still damp. I haven't had to re, like, spritz it with water or anything yet. I don't want it soaking wet. I'd rather it be semi, you know, kind of dry. I just, I'd rather it be damp than 
dripping wet. I'm going to move on to the back and they're basically just going to go straight down. When I'm done, I'll just give you a, a 360 and show you. And then when I wake up the next morning or afternoon because I'm so sleepy, I will, um, you know, after I untwist it and style it and everything, I will show you guys. But anyway, just stay tuned for that. The back. So I'll, um, I know it's not perfect, but it works out every time. So I'll um, show you guys my twist out, my flat twist out in the morning or in the afternoon. So I'll see you then. Okay, so it's the next morning or afternoon um, from me letting my hair dry for my flat twist. So now I'm about to take them down. What I'm going to do is um, put a little bit of coconut oil on it before I um, take them down. So I just take a little bit, rub it in my hands, and just rub it over my hair. I've already, uh, I took this one down a little bit because it was the only one that was still wet. And it may be still a little damp, but it'll be okay. So I just start by untwisting them from the bottom and carefully untwisting them to the top. And as you can see, it dried clear. I have no product buildup on my hair. And basically, this is all I'm going to do, and I'll just show you guys once I untwist all of them, how I just fluff it out a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, this is my hair um, after I took down the twist. I have not picked it out or manipulated it or anything yet. So this is what it looks like. still have parts in it. So now what I'm going to do is just, um, I'm not going to separate it too much more. I'm just going to take my pick and try to cover up the parts. So, And as I um, pick, I kind of lift up because I want it to stand. And I want the pieces that was twisted down to hang in my face. So. I don't pick all the way through. I um, just pick at the roots. It was a couple that was still damp. So I do have some product left in my hair, but not a lot. Um. But it's okay, it'll dry. It's hot here, so it'll dry. And it's, um, this is using my Shea Butter Mixture. mixture and it's ve this is my first time using it, and it's very defined. It's more defined than um, the Shea Butter Mixture I made before, which I did not use aloe vera gel, or did I use um, leave-in conditioner. So this... Um, this one um, makes my hair a little more defined and less frizzy. So I like this better than my first mixture, which I didn't record. So. So y'all basically this is it. This is my flat twist out. I like it. It's an easy, quick style to do. Um, let me know if you like it. Thumbs up if you do. And thumbs up if you want to know more about my um, mixture, which I should, before I post this video, have that video posted. But I'll just give you 360 and then I'll post some pictures after the video. Thanks for watching.